Well, finding the right home at the right budget in the right location can all be kind of a difficult process for any new home buyer. Yeah, new this morning, Aaron Fields joins us. He's here to talk about the mortgage lender. Talk, he talked with the mortgage lender, rather, to get some advice on how to make new home buyers' lives a little easier. Morning, Aaron. Good morning, Josh and Alicia. So I always like to start with positive news because I'm a positive person. That's right. Yeah, like so it. North Dakota was actually ranked in the top five um, states for the happiest new home buyers. That's great. And so I talked to mortgage lender Travis Lang, and he told me that 70% um, of his clients are first-time home buyers. He says our state offers lots of resources new home buyers should take advantage of. And many first time buyers can qualify for North Dakota Housing Financial Program if they haven't owned a home in the past three years. It allows you to get a loan with a down payment as low as $500. Here are Lang's three go to tips when buying a home. Make sure to get a home inspection. He says many people overlook it when they get stressed. And give yourself enough time. Ask for an extension with your closing so you don't make a rash decision. And have two to three months of your mortgage put aside in a reserve account before you buy a new home. And some of the most common things he sees people do wrong is not doing enough research. He says it's extremely important to get a second or third opinion on who will be helping you through your new home purchasing process. And not every company can offer every single option. Not every bank, credit union, and mortgage company are created equal. They all have differences and limitations depending on who you pick. So a lot of home buyers just go with a quick, fast, easy decision, and then they realize after they bought their house that there was other options out there that they weren't told. And a 30-year mortgage is what most people do, but he says when it comes down to um, just the comfort of the person sure. and how much money they're making. And he says in general, the mid 200000s is a reasonable price mm -hmm. for first-time home buyers. But yeah. I don't even have close to that much uh, money. I'm you still trying to get another $200, car. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. It's always I mean, good to yeah. you know, not be rash about yeah. anything, yeah. especially a home. Right. right. And having that things. savings set aside too, I think yeah. that's a big thing right there that people don't un really, you could lose your job anytime, you could get ill, you know, and then you have the emergencies as, as your appliances in your home. Right. Um, when you're a home owner versus renting. So. Wait, when did you buy your first home? What age? I, we, I was in my 30s. Okay, so I still have some time. Yeah, yeah. Before. So is, yeah. Am I the, am no, I the I uh, example? You, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. One well, right. more information there. Thanks. <laughs>